Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Today did not start off like I really wanted it to, you guys. This week I had plans, plans to, basically it's still the same plan. This week I'm just gonna be hanging out with you guys like a couple days throughout the week, but I thought about starting this vlog like a little bit differently. Like I was gonna do my hair and I was gonna be all ready and then we were gonna go to the supermarket together and it was just gonna be fantastic. And then got locked out without my phone. And basically I was locked out of the house for probably an hour. And mind you, I had put uh, sheets to be washed and I was stuck outside. So my day has definitely not been going as planned. I still have not done my hair, so my hair is a little wild and I haven't gone to the supermarket. So everything is a little bit behind. However, I was able to get the sheets out of the wash and anyways, I just thought that I would start the vlog here now and I'm just gonna basically be taking you guys with me throughout my days for the next few days. I have a couple things that I need to buy at the supermarket that I have been like putting off or just like I haven't been able to go and do them so i want to do that i have like a list and then maybe tomorrow i want to go buy some more things that are on my shopping list and then on wednesday i really want to get a haircut it's time these dead ends have got to go i really like the guy that i go to i really like how he cuts hair however last time that i went i don't know why he has this like obsession with like thinning out my hair and I really don't like when my hair gets thinned out because I have a lot of hair and my hair is like pretty curly or not curly but like really wavy and when you thin out or like when my hair gets thinned out it like cuts pieces of my hair like randomly and I don't like it and because I do use like heat tools quite often I don't want to be like using heat tools on like short strands of hair because that'll just like break that hair and I don't want to have like breakage on the top of my head head if that makes sense. So anyways, I'm gonna go in there on Wednesday and be like, hey, love how you cut hair. I really, really do, but I need you to not thin out my hair anymore because I really don't like it. I don't mind when like hairstylists use razors like in the front to like kind of like blend out the hair or whatever, but like I don't want the razor all throughout my hair, head, hair, because I don't like it. And I'm gonna tell him very clearly. So yeah, you guys, that's the deal. We're just gonna have like a, a week of just like hanging out. And basically we're not gonna be doing anything that exciting, just getting things that I need for the house. And that's basically it. I wanna get like nail polish because the nail polish that I have, I feel like is like pretty dry. And I want like a cute fall color, even though it's like still hot and summertime, like I'm ready for, I'm ready for that like fall vibe. And I kind of want that to happen on my nails. All right, you guys, change of plans. I was gonna go to the supermarket, but turns out that we got invited to eat lunch. So now I am just gonna probably get ready because I wanna fix my hair up and all the things. Lately, you guys, I've kind of been into like letting my hair just be like wavy and kind of wild. I do like it. It's also a lot easier and yeah. But you guys, I wanna share with you guys something that's kind of, I feel like I just discovered this and I have to share it. If you're the type of person that likes to eat chips with sour cream, which I feel like if you don't, I don't get it. I absolutely love that. I have a healthy alternative. You get yogurt. I like all natural Greek yogurt. You put salt in it, and I'm telling you, this is sour cream. But it's yogurt, but if you put salt in it, it's sour cream, but it's like yogurt, so it's healthy, but it tastes just like sour cream. So this is a life hack. And then you have dip for your potato chips. So good. Let me know in the comment section if you guys have tried this, and if not, try it and let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Up and now I'm gonna kind of fix my hair. I'm not gonna have enough time to actually like fully do my hair. You know what I think about sometimes, you guys, is how do people, girls, how do girls do these TikToks where they're like, okay, I'm running late, but I'm just gonna do my makeup really quickly with you guys. Like, if I'm running late, 
there's no chance I'm literally gonna stop and do a TikTok. I would like to, but the fact of the matter is I would be so late, like beyond late. If I'm already running late, me having to cut a video at that moment would just like, it's crazy. So my question is for those girls that do it, first of all, my props, props to you. Second of all, I would like to do that. And third of all, how do you do it? Like, do you film before you're gonna go out? Like, do you start getting ready like way in advance and then you just kind of say, where is my mascara? And then do you kind of just like say, what the heck? See, these are the types of things that like, if I'm in a rush and I have to like find, look for my mascara that I can't find, like, how am I supposed to get ready and make it to the thing on time if I'm already running behind and then I'm like recording like that? It's madness to me. So my question is, do the girls that do this, like you guys get ready like an hour before you have to go and then you're like rushing or not an hour because like that's normal to get ready an hour before, but like, do you give yourself like an extra hour like to do the filming and stuff and then you're still running late or whatever? Or do you just say that you're running late? Because I just feel like as a girl, I can't think of much worse, like a worse thing than to be like really having to go to an event and like being like really behind and then like literally having to film, like filming something while you're trying to figure out what makeup you're putting on your face. So. If anybody knows, let me know. It's impressive, but it's just like shocking to me. Like for example, like I had high hopes about having my hair done for this little lunch that we're going to, but that didn't happen. I had to choose makeup or hair. So I chose makeup. I already did my makeup and now I'm just gonna kind of like go and kind of make this look better, which I have no idea. I'm gonna do that. We're just gonna give it a shot. I'm just gonna like curl little pieces of it to kind of just make it look a little bit better, you know? I gotta go. Hi guys, good morning. It is the next day. I was gonna go to the gym today, you guys, but <sighs> you guys, I've been in like this, okay, well, I've been out of the gym all, like a whole month, like the month of August. I was mainly at the beach, as you guys probably saw in my last video. So I wasn't really close to the gym that I go to, and so I basically took the month of August off. And therefore, now I'm like feeling a little bit unmotivated to be at the gym. It's also quite hot still here, and so that also gives me like zero desire to be at the gym. But I really wanted to go to the gym today. I was thinking about going in the morning and it just didn't work out. I like woke up not that early today and I just, I wanna get some other things done. And so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the gym later on in the afternoon, probably go to my Zumba class. I haven't been to my Zumba class in so long. If you guys know me or have been following me for a little bit, you guys probably know that I love Zumba and I love my Zumba class that I go to in particular. The teacher's so good and I just have so much fun and I haven't been in a wall, in a, a wall, in a long time. So basically, yeah, the plans have shifted. But anyways, um, I'm gonna go to the supermarket. I actually wanna go to, where do I wanna go? I wanna go to two places. I wanna go to Mercadona because I have like grocery stuff that I need to buy, not like food so much, but like things for the house and like cleaning supplies and like little things that I'm like running out of. And then I wanna stop by this other place that I have like a little gift card for. It's not really a gift card, I returned something and they only give like store credit. So I don't even know how much I have on this little thing. And so I wanna go there so that I can pick up either a new nail polish color. And then I also wanna find like a new concealer. So so anyways, those are the two things. I feel like I had a third, but I think that's it. 
just Mercadona and then this other place. I think it's like Primark, but I'm not sure if it's Primark. So I don't want to say the name of the store because I actually don't really know what it's called. Okay, maybe you guys can help me decide what sunglasses I want to wear. These are my tried and true. These have prescriptions, so I used to wear these all the time. I feel like my eyes are like not used to them. Let's decide between this one, these, or let's see, these are brown. Ray-Bans are a little dirty, but I think this is actually good. I feel like I can never tell with Ray-Bans if they're like crooked or not. I feel like I have to adjust them. All right, I think these are going to be the ones. Okay, let's go. supermarket it was so hot out there gotta shake it off all right you guys let me show you guys what i got at the supermarket i went to primore that's the store that i couldn't think of the name earlier and i found this nail polish i really wanted like a ready dark red color for fall it's called youth youth color the only brand that had this color was this one so i'm not really sure if it's gonna be good but at least the color is like exactly what i was looking for then i went to mercadona and i got a bunch of stuff just like for the week first things first i got nut like a nut cocktail this i use a lot when i do like my yogurt parfaits which i also got yogurt this is um, the all-natural just like Greek yogurt plain Greek yogurt. I love this stuff as you guys saw like earlier or, Like yesterday you could even put salt on this and then it's like sour cream But I usually just have this with like nuts and honey for like breakfast or like a good healthier snack so Always have these on hand and I needed to buy some so both of these I got a Spanish tortilla Tortilla Española. So these are very typical of Spain and they sell these at Mercadona and they're really, really good. You would think that like because it's from a supermarket, it wouldn't be good, but it's actually very, very delicious. They have one that's made out of um, calabacín, which is squash. And that one's actually my favorite, but it's a little bit more expensive. And I just kind of like wanted something quick to eat if we're ever hungry. So this is why I got this one. I got carpaccio. So they sell these little like carpaccio kits in Mercadona and they're so good. It's basically like thinly sliced beef and it's delicious. You put like arugula on it, um, some olive oil, balsamic, a lemon even. And it comes with like Parmesan, like a little packet of Parmesan on the side. And these are like so good. So I got two of these. Lettuce mix, this has arugula and another type of like green. And these are just like really good to have on hand for like a quick salad. We try to always like pair whatever we're eating, like if say it's like a protein with a salad. So we'll have like steak with salad, chicken with salad, usually anything with like salad on the side. So I like to pick these up when I go to the supermarket. I got some eggs. You guys know I'm an egg lover. I could literally eat eggs, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, late night snack. Like I could live off of strictly eggs. So anyways, I had to get some more eggs. Um, I got some surface cleaner because I ran out. I needed to get some more conditioner, so I got this Tresemme Keratin um, conditioner. What else? I needed to get some cotton rounds. I needed to get some nail polish remover, so I got this one. Um, in Mercadona, there's like a purple purple nail polish remover, and it's so good. And then today I looked at the label because I was like, okay, I feel like I need to read what that purple one was because it was so good. It takes off like permanent nail polish. So that's why like when I took off like regular nail polish with that purple nail polish remover, it was like instant. I hope that this one is just as good, but I wanted to try something that's like not for like super heavy duty just in case like it's not as good for my nails. So anyways, I'm gonna try this one. Hopefully it's good or as good. I got more castor oil because you guys know I'm a castor oil lover. I also got a concealer from Mercadona, but this is like a Rimmel, Rimmel London concealer. So we'll see how this goes. I need to like try it and see if I like it. And then I finally, you guys, I finally got another bronzer. Um, I had been living with this bronzer, but like broken 
for a few months now. It was literally in a little plastic Ziploc bag. So I got a new one and yep, this is seven euros at Mercadona. I really like it. It's like very plain, regular bronzer, but I do like it. And yeah, I get the, the clearest one, like the, the lightest shade, I guess. All right, you guys, I think that was it. That was it. You guys, I painted my nails and I am so happy with how they came out. The color that I got today was like exactly the color that I wanted. It's like a very rich red, like almost like a really deep red wine color. I did three coats and a clear gloss over. So the red color is from Better Nail Care. Youth color is seven or 70 color is 70. I loved it. I love how how the color comes on and I love the actual color. So love this one. I got this at Primor. But yeah, you guys, I'm really into these nails. These are like my quintessential fall nails and I feel like I'm embodying that fall vibe right now. So yeah, tomorrow I'm going to get a haircut and yeah, we'll see how that turns out because I am ready for it. Hi guys, good morning. It's officially the next day and I'm about to go get a haircut. I'm not gonna do a ton, like I don't wanna cut too much length. I just wanna cut a little bit of the deadness off and maybe just like cut a little bit of like the layers again, like clean them up and that's it. I don't want my hair to get thinned out. I will come back with a little update on how it went because you guys know that it's happened to me a couple times where I go and they thin out my hair even though I tell them not to. So hopes for them not doing that today. Let's go. left my hair appointment i'm very very happy with how my hair came out he did not thin it out today which i'm so happy about i basically just told him i wanted it a little bit shorter and then my layers cleaned up so that's basically what he did i'm so happy with it i'm just so happy that he didn't thin it out which is exactly what i wanted so yeah you guys i'm glad that you guys were able to come with me these couple of days and yeah i'm so happy that i was able to get a haircut if you guys enjoyed this week's video make sure to give it a thumbs up also if you have not subscribed to my channel make sure to subscribe i put out videos for you guys every single week i love you guys all so much and i'll see you guys next week for another video bye